Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to get started here in just uh, a little bit. Uh, yeah. We know there's been a lot of uh, confusion over uh, recent events and the album release, so we're hopefully here to clear that up today for you. Um, and once we get the rest of the crew, uh, we'll get going here. I answer some pretty serious questions. If everybody could just shut off their cell phone devices and whatnot, silence them, do what you gotta do. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, stay out of the comments too, please, if you will. Uh, it's just distracting, you know, but yeah, it's good. Sorry, folks, uh, traffic was a bitch. Um, the uh, the runner van broke down on the way over here. We had to hit a ride on one of those uh, tractor-themed party buses on their way through town, uh, kind of heading this direction. There were people everywhere. I had my mask up to my eyebrows. Um, the music was cultural rot, and I drank about half of the minibar with only a single straw. But the good news is I've made it here one piece. I'm well uh, and living large, and, uh, uh, and I brought some... Uh, some accommodations. I brought some accommodations here. That's, uh, that's right. Some tchotchkes in here. That's quite good. I think we should. I mean, I'm ready to kind of get this thing started. Let's do it. Um, roll yeah. Roll yeah. You want to? Let's roll that thing. Yeah. It's yeah. just gonna start. This is all you need to do. Where did Danny's white drums go? Frowny face. They're not mine. I'm ashamed to admit. But where'd they go? Uh, they were stolen. It's startups now. Yeah. No. Oh, did it. Oh, thank you. So this is what a live stream is then, isn't it? I suppose that technically this would be probably a first time really, I don't know, live streaming. I could be wrong. Oh, like a hey, mom! Who is the weirdest in the band? Be real. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you watching this right now? Are you watching this right now? I mean, you, you're. Uh, this thing. That's a, I don't know, a debatable question. I'm the most refreshed. I don't, I don't think I'd really want to give that an answer because I think it really depends on the day. It really depends on the day and uh, it, because it, it really does change, I think. As, yeah, as for who the best true. looking in the band is, I can tell you that's the, lead, the front man, uh, it's Josh Kiska. Oh, oh, I feel like we're running the show over here. You guys got to pick up the slack. Yeah, yeah, you're right here. Let's, I'm just gonna, we'll Here's this. You should start on on opening them because they they take a minute. Is it hard? Multitasking, being talented and sexy. I think the uh, answer would probably be yeah, yeah, kind of. I, I won't say it's difficult, but it's it's a lot of pressure. Oh yeah, you think it's easy, don't you? It's a breeze. It's a breeze. It's just as easy as opening these fortune cookie for questions. Does Jake sing on the new album? Well, it depends if you're asking Jay. Yeah, is Jake even here right now? <laughs> is, Jake, not, is Jake even not. here right now? He's not. Because I am not oh Jake. God. I'm Oliver fucking Reed. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something. It's all going to depend. If you ask me the question, is Oliver Reed going to sing on the album? Then I might tell you that. Oh, no, of course not, because I'm not in the band. Doing this all week. I think it has something to do with method. 
I think it's something to do with method, but it is definitely committed. That is for sure. If you want one of the most committed people in the band, I guess you've got it, right? Dude, is this one answered? I, I knew this was going to happen. Yeah, it happens every time. Take a look at it. We, uh, well, we can't be sure. Oh. Why? Oh, I like the way this is working. This is very good. Uh, Play it on me. Why, why do you, why do y'all got to be so cryptic? Well, you know, we, we, we like to stay cryptic. <laughs> well, I think it's important. I think it's important to maintain mystery, especially in this day and age when everything is spoon-fed to you. We don't want to insult anybody's intelligence by telling them what to think. So we give them independent thoughts to uh, have the choice. Well said. Question? Oh, all right, I've got one. one. Right. It's happening. It's in a bowl right now. A bowl full. <clears throat> Timeliness is a virtue. Timeliness is a virtue. Uh, how many mushrooms did you eat today? Well, jury's out on that one. Am I right now? Right. Now that you ask, it's a shitload. <laughs> We've taken tons and tons and tons of them, and it really depends on who you're asking, because Daniel actually does the most in the group. You see, I'll hand it down that way. And now, uh, a quick intermission. Once they are. Question? Come on, should we go to this press conference over today? We go to the bar. Oh my goodness. It was wild. A lot of mushrooms. Right, toxic. What feeling do you hope to give people with the new album? I see. That's a very important question. And I really hope that we can inspire peace and love and equality and unity and the feeling that every human being bound by mortality hopes to experience in one lifetime. That we are one people, that we all express ourselves through art, we all express ourselves through music, and we love one another, and we can all share this piece of music, which we wrote very much for everybody. Yeah, that's right. Um, what do you think, Miss America? <laughs> oh, about what? The, uh, <clears throat> I mean, well, uh, there's, a, there's a, yeah, well, I, I think the most, I think the most important thing about the album is uh, is interpretation. I mean, it's a pretty oh. dense album. There's a lot going on here. So pretty much what you have to consider is that uh, that, that um, the, the most important uh, <laughs> some and for somebody good. You think I should run for office maybe sometime soon? Uh, the most important interpretation that you're going to take away from the album should be your own original interpretation. I think that goes for all of our music. Uh, and on that note, <laughs> I think we should probably go to this this question here. I think it's very entertaining. Uh, you guys are awesome, but why don't you sing so we can understand what the hell you are saying? I think it's because we can't talk. I think it's probably in part because we can't talk. I think we can't. We can't even talk so you understand what we're saying. I don't think. But it's really funny because I I sing on the on the on the on the records, you know, and uh, and it's I don't know if it's a it's always a we, you know, but uh, Sri Sri Ram Jayama, am I right? Uh, Sri Ram Jayama. Is that it's so. pretty. It's, it's pretty simple. It's a mantra. Everybody likes mantra. Well, I mean, I think the verdict is up on that again too. I think there's probably a lot of people yeah, that'll be able to. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's just a you uh, thing. I, I'm not really sure. Next question. Yeah, right. Next question. Wow, we could be maybe a little bit more timely with. That he said, like I don't know. Uh, I think so. I think so. This is your question. The music is you. The music is you. I have ripped two of these now. Is Greta Van Fleet okay? Ah. No, I mean, we're okay. We're not great, but we're okay. What does that mean? I, th I think we have a lot more questions. Yeah, out I don't of think you can psychoanalyze every, every single one. I mean, you could, but I think you'd probably end up you know, losing our minds. I think we'd probably end up in some kind of existential anxiety if we tried to psychoanalyze all these. Look, see what you're doing to us? Uh, fan yeah. questions, please. Yes, we are okay. We are okay. 
if that's what you're looking for. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, Daniel. Take one out and pass it down. Does for you. this is perfect? Does Sam Kiska drive barefoot, or does he travel on horseback only? Well, I do uh, understand that uh, horses are autonomous, um, and uh, it's a good hint. But yes, I like to I like to feel the earth move be beneath my feet, so I actually drive with one door open with my foot on the ground. No, I actually have uh, very uh, serious driving shoes. No, I'm just kidding. I just wear slippers. No, I wear I wear sneakers. Some days, some days you're very. Some days he's very equestrian. Some days. I'm gonna question that. Right, right, right. Why? Why does Jake Hiska slash Oliver Reed stand at a 45 degree angle in every picture? I don't know. Why does he do that? You ask the question. I think it's not a question. I ask you then. What do you think? That's what my theory is the curvature of the Earth, but oh, again, the event again, that one's out to the jury. You know, like, it, maybe it's round. Uh, you know, I mean, there's there are some amongst us who uh, who would. Uh, I think the the Earth is flat situation. You know, um, okay. Uh, what's the? Uh, I'm totally. I'm mean, like not PTSD. I'm past it. I'm, what's the? Fl uh, Sorry, what man. does that even? What's the flute that you play in Age of Man asking for a friend? It was a flute recorded by somebody probably 80 years ago, which makes it extra creepy. It's from the first taped sampler, Welcome to our History Lesson. And that is called a Mellotron, folks. Beautiful instrument. Anybody? This is what Josh does live. <laughs> Yeah, now I'm offended. Lots now I'm offended. It didn't take, I don't know what the hell you're singing to Aye. that to offend me. You got a question? Uh, yeah, he's got one here for all of us. Let's see what it is. It's a big... Oh, you've seen many wow. people. <laughs> Name them all. Well, there's Joe and Mark and Kathy and Sue and Karen and Bethany and, and Jill and Dominic and, and Rodrigo and, and Felipe and, and uh, am I forgetting anybody? It, rem it reminds me of a zombie song, Friends of Mine. You should listen to that. That's a good one. So check that out. Yeah. Uh, am I avoiding the question? Maybe. We're not trying to avoid any questions, you know? It's just so much... Are dumber than others, you know. But I think these are pretty, pretty decent. <laughs> but yeah, no, they're all they're all great questions, really, really and truly. Um, despite uh, Josh's rhetoric. Um, <laughs> oh, who is this? Well, we'll probably get the kicks out of this place, but I've got another question down here. Yeah, before we do, uh, before we do get kicked out. Uh, inevitably, <clears throat> what is the name? What is the name? Hey! What is the name of your cult? Is this what it says? It says, "What is the name of your cult?" We've got many cults, but this one in particular today. We put Salvador Dali in a in a wood chipper and spread him all over the walls. That's one of the. One of the concepts. Our, our, our it really class. looks like an accountant had a puke in here. I had a big Ralph all, uh, all over the place. I will put the P.O. box in the comments shortly. Uh, so just keep, your, keep your eyes peeped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the name of the cult? What's the name of the cult? What's the name of the cult? That's the question everybody's That's asking. Nice question. I'm having fun. Well, yeah. Pretty good. Is that the question? No. Oh. You have the question. Oh, I do. Oh, well, that would be a good question, I think. If you're gonna smack me in the, we're gonna have a bloody nose by the time you're done swinging that thing around. Uh, yeah, we deserve that. Where do I sign to get flowers from Mr. Josh Kiska? Well, right here. Right here is where you sign. I think it's actually more technically over here. This is, this is where you sign. And it's it's an intimate letter. Let me tell you, it's yeah. 
yeah, I think we probably should move. I'm gonna get a little emotional. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, what? Right. If the new Greta Van Fleet record straight up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, what if the new Greta Van Fleet record straight up Fox? If we record straight up Fox. Like if we just stood there and said it? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, 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 It would probably sound something like that if you really want to answer. Just watch the pick of destiny. You'll, you'll get your fill, you pervert. Yeah, yeah. You, you strange creature. You, you special animal, you. <laughs> anyway, back to the organized program. Hello, members of Greta Van Fleet. I was listening to Billy Squire, and I could not help but think that he might have been one of the artists that inspired you musically. Is that so? Oh. <laughs> Maybe Jake, but Jake's not here. <laughs> but you know Jake. <laughs> Jake used to like that Lonely is the Night track. Oh, yeah, that's good. I forgot that he liked that one. Uh, what's that? No, that's not oh, right. How does Greta Van Fleet do that? Do what? Is this the that thing? That thing you they do. Yeah, that's good. I think that's sound. What you got, Josh? What's up? My roommates and I, my roommates and I need to know. Do you com, com do you compost? I thought I said compose. We do that, but compost. Yeah. Um. If you, yeah. We compose, <laughs> Don't we all we, compost? We compose, Don't we all? Compose. Okay. There's Next one, question. There's one similarity between compose and compost is when we do compose something, it's made of shit. Here's <laughs> <laughs> another question. What happened to Creta Van Fleet? Do they still exist? Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, That's the question. Come on, come on. Uh, uh, sorry. There you go. Okay, right. Next thing, next thing. Let me get him! Yeah, you can. Alright, we're not gonna do this again. Come on, boy. It's been, it's been, it's been so uh, It's been uh, so much, so, uh, yeah, so often. Oh my god. Come at me, boy. Oliver? Okay, all right, good. Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to. We can't. Sorry, we can't let our poor friends take I'm all of the. All of the. I'm sorry. Here you go. He doesn't. He doesn't bite it. He doesn't. He doesn't bite it. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. All right. You want to hold the phone? Sausage, pretty good. Walk. Now it's now it's yeah now it's a race. But you look like you win. Yeah. Jake Kiska. Oh, he's not he's here. He's not Should here. Be. Next question. <laughs> We need to know. How do you feel about Nickelback? The people need to know. Speak the truth, brother. Well, you know, if Jake was here, which he's not, so me, he's Oliver Reed, we'll answer your question for him. What I think of Nickelback is maybe they'll be the ones to save me, but after all, they are my Harry Paul. Next question. Next question. That's great. Yeah, really nice. like that. Yeah. That's really good. This this is a I, I think this is a I think it's a very appropriate question right here. Uh, I think this one's really good. Uh, does Greta Van Fleet do anything other than dress up and take pictures? <laughs> we make, we, make a lot of we uh we have we've been known to have a cocktail here and there. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Okay. Next. There we go. That's like some over there. I'm gonna share the love so that we can get through this 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 evening tonight today. I don't know. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna get a sound bite. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. When is Josh Kiska going to wear heels? How long do I have to wait for this to happen? I'm serious. When I get that bunion grind down just right, I just gotta get that figured out, and then I gotta slip right in there. They're gonna be red and and sparkly, and I'm gonna tap my heels together and go to fucking Neverland. You know, it's always a trade-off. That's right, I gotta say that. It's always a trade-off. And perhaps when he stops wearing a g-string, he'll start wearing pumps. Yeah, I got me, okay. I mean, he likes pumps. Let's see, this one's good. This one's 
good. And pop for me, so that's great for me. What is your favorite thing about tour? Well, it feels like a campaign. You're on the you're on the campaign trial generally. No, I mean it's just actually quite such a such a great deal of aspects. The one thing for certain is it really is something you're never gonna be able to kick once you've gone around the world and played to people who embrace you and welcome you for the first time, that, like friends you've never met before, feel they understand you vicariously through your art. That's something really special. And uh, especially this sort of celebratory energy that comes together when you're in a space with people, uh, being able to share that art with them. And you get this, uh, it's all sort of uh, flows back onto the stage. And, and I think it keeps you young, really. It's a celebration of love and humanity. Every night. Every night. I, I think it's very interesting this question because because it's a very important and a very important question. We travel all over the many many continents and we've seen so many people, so many faces. But I think what's interesting to consider is the fact that we're part of now a global community that uh, feels like as if we have a responsibility to the earth, the people, and um, being you know sort of a, a unified society that um, I think can nurture and grow as a, as a unit and a, and a colony. And um, people, places, and culture have been very important, very influ influential, especially on this, on this album. Um, Sam? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, I think that was And of course, on the off days, we like to uh, dress up and take pictures. That's the best part. That's pretty good. We don't have another oh, question oh, ready? Oh, I got a question. Last one. I want to know what happened to Oliver Reed on that last yeah. bit. He's gone. He's back now, isn't he? Oh. Brick. <laughs> Sammy, you're so baby. And for what? <laughs> That's the question, man. You understand, not me. I'm so baby? That's what it says. Yeah. Okay, give us a moment to verify uh, this question. No, that was, that was completely accurate. Sammy, you're so baby. And for what? Well, I'm the youngest child. I'm the favorite. Um, America's sweetheart. Uh, so I don't know. I think I just fell into the role. I think it. Uh, I think I have a sweet boy-like innocence that perhaps I'll never get. So baby. So baby. I've been the one saving. If each of the Greta Van Fleet members wrote their own songs. What do you think that would be like? Start with you. Yeah. What would, what would you do? It wouldn't be much. <laughs> It'd be a whole lot of... Because <laughs> I'm the drummer. <laughs> At least that's what you like. Oh. No, 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 no. But that's together. It's individual. Oh, oh, so what would you say? Uh, what would you say? Baby Sam. Well, baby Sam. Uh, baby Sam. Uh, baby Sam uh, geez, I think what? it would. I'm kidding. I'm just. Uh, uh, I think I'll uh, someday I'll I'll lead an orchestra like uh, George Gershwin. Uh, at least at least that's the dream. Uh, whatever's bigger than life. I think I'd like to mix Kirtan music with like an Xavier Cugat sound. So I think that would translate really well. And I don't think I'll really speak, I would, you know, as far as vocals are concerned, I probably wouldn't use any language, I think. I think it'd probably be a little folky, too, really. Uh, yeah, kind of the tribal folk almost, yeah. But it, it wouldn't have to speak any real words. I could just sort of use my voice as sort of like a gibberish kind of thing. You know? I do it all the time anyway. I mean, it's like... It's an instrument, after all, right? That's right. You heard it here after first, all. folks. <laughs> after all. No, I think, yeah, no, and... Uh, yeah, so, and of course you wouldn't need to know what I'm saying because you don't already, <laughs> you know, by the sounds of it. So it's good. Well, if Jake... Nice to know. Thanks, guys. If, yes, right. Nice uh, well, if Jake was here, which he's not, I'm all over reading, I'm here, so I'd ask him a question <laughs> for him. Shut up, hey, shut up. What we do is he'd probably play a bunch of folk instruments sort of on top of each other with the violin, viola, cello, bass, quartet, and there'd be some uh, fancy-wancy sort of a... Uh, other thing over here. Maybe it sounded like maybe like Neo Kotki meets Hendrix meets meets the Blues Brothers or something. You never know. You never know. Again, it's just a guitar player. He just plays strings all day. That's what he does. It's very romantic. And we got a question. Uh, what? Hmm. 
Jake, how long have you been British? Oh, that's a good question. Right. British. British. What kind of a... a <laughs> what kind of a question is that? I can't even think of what a British guy would say to that. Because I'm so... fucking irritated right now. Cat British. I'm not even... I'm not even Jake. I'm not even, I am Oliver fucking Reed. And I think that's probably where that translates, you know. I got this really great one just now. When do you think Jesus will resurrect again? I think I that's think, a good question. I think we're just being asked, some, I think somebody's trying to give us impossible sort of questions, you know. I don't think some of the greatest televangelists could give you that answer themselves. But we, I guess, that again, the jury's out on it's that one. We can try. Speculation, it's a good so. speculation, though. It's, I'm, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's an impossible question for me. I have a professor named Wagner. Would he be related to Danny? Well, Wagner's a very popular last name. It was sort of the composer as well. What do we think? Well, my father is a teacher, but he is not a professor. Who's my teacher? But he might as well be. Who was my teacher? Who was their teacher? All of their teacher. I was a professor once. He taught everybody. Our lineage runs dry. No lie. So, probably not. Black Hills. Sorry. I've got a question ticking down. Ah, yeah. It's a bomb. You like bombs? Well, can, you, can you, can uh, you, it's going to be a very bad, it's a terrible bomb. Can you guys give me a senior quote? Thanks in advance. Well, what if we didn't? Then there would no, I, be I, no I, reason I, to I thank have, us, I would there? Well, I've oh got one. For what is death? But just stand naked in the wind and melt into the sun. Yeah. All right, man. That's, that's, that's Khalil Gibran, by the way. You can probably look that one up on your <laughs> local on your local Google or something. Wish I had a table to do that. It's like I always really, th I really always felt that our. I mean, I thought a good one would be "fuck fear, live your legend through the intelligence of love." I thought that'd be good, but that's too real for the confined walls of some of those universities or whatever you want to say. You know, sometimes that's just not appropriate in the established established system. Uh, what inspired your elaborate costumes, Elton John's encouragement? Question mark. Well, I certainly, I think, played a bit of a part of it. I remember he was coming, we, we were playing a show, there was a club at the time, it, was, well, it must have been years ago, really. Uh, and he came to the show and uh, he, came, he, he came backstage and uh, we'd had some, um, um, I guess we were, <laughs> we uh, had some kind of, um, what do you call it? Uh, rapport, that's the word, you know, with, with Elton. And then, so he, he came to the show and he watched the show and he came back and he said, I loved it. It was great. We got talking, and he and he said, "Don't don't be afraid to flaunt what you've got." He said, "You young guys, you just flaunt what you've got." And I think that that sort of uh, a, a little a little bit of that permission promotion permission was really good. You know, really important. Is that I, so we took that advice, I think. But you know, I think we've always had a flair for flair. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know. It's just like sort of like when you pass the vaginal walls into the world and become a body of the universe, you decide that all of a sudden, damn, yeah, let's have this. Let's have a ball. Let's have a ball, wait, don't we? Is that it? I think there's only one more here in front of me. Oh, let's get this down. The grand finale. It better be good. Let's begin. Let's begin the interview. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's go with the crucial question, Colin. What are Greta Van Fleet's Hogwarts houses. <laughs> Hufflepuff! <laughs> wow, how appropriate. How appropriate. Okay, well, where do we start with this one? We need a sorting hat. We're going to need a sorting hat. Yeah. There's no Does anybody have one? I don't have one. I've got, I've got this. This would work, wouldn't it? What about the, that's the sorting hat. Right there, just hold that on the head. I can <laughs> Slytherin! <laughs> oh my god, I'm a Slytherin! <laughs> I've got a better one. What about this, Josh? What do you think? Are you ready? <laughs> Hold up to my mouth. I'll tell you. Whoa! 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 Give me a moment. Yeah, right, 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 right. What do you think? I think... I think... I think... Uh, think that? Just think... Uh, Hogwarts. Ah! Wait! <laughs> okay, right. I think it's been sorted. Now, why don't you... Uh, put Give it! Put it on! Put it on! Put it on! It's really good. I think... Ah. I, we already... Uh, what would, I guess it leaves you up there, Daniel. Is it 
What do you think? Are you going to need a hat? Because I am in my underwear. I guess that's technically... I'm going to pass on the hat. I'm going to pass on the... I smell, I smell a cat. I think we should probably get out of here before we embarrass ourselves. I have one more question. Just one more question. Oh, there's one more question. Oh, okay. I think, I think that is. Where is it? I suppose we'd like to wrap up this event with thanking everybody for coming and everybody for tuning in. And hopefully we've been able to provide some enlightening information or enlightenment for some people and answer some of your, answer some of your questions. Um, uh, we'll be, uh, we'll, we, we enjoyed this and uh, we enjoyed your, 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 your time and your interest and, and hopefully we've given you some good, good stuff here. Um, uh, especially you, you're just cheeky. You keep lot. giving the cheeky yeah, look. That was nice. And, and you, in the back, you in the back with that mask on. You right there, you long-haired creep. Yeah, the long-haired creep, yes. And, uh, yeah, so we appreciate, yes. Let's, let's do this again sometime. Uh, I think we're, we're quite busy. I th we've had that um, <laughs> tractor-themed uh, party bus waiting in the parking lot for us for quite some time now. Uh, I don't want to be rude, so we've got to get out there. We hope we uh, cleared up the mystery surrounding uh, the release of the Garden's Gate and uh, a lot of the questions people had uh, following the yeah. recent events. Yeah. So thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, praise be.